Hello. Welcome Hi, everybody. To GDPG. I am uh, Gigarius. I uh, hope you uh, enjoy <laughs> our playthrough of Super Hot. We really can't like start any of these Super Hot episodes our normal way. Everyone, no. everyone that's like introduced to us is gonna be like, "Why would anyone watch these fools?" Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to GDPG. So, so last we left off, yes. uh, we had just gone through the tutorial, basically. Yep. And we came back. After that error happened, and uh, the in, the like intentional error happened, um, and uh, there's a new message. We got like booted from the game, sort of, and now we have a new message. Let's read it. Lier. Uh, 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 oh, it's doing the thing again. Well, we'll just do this. God damn it! Really? Uh, right, let's, so that's 2351. <laughs> Motherfucker. Why does this happen? Why does it stop detecting detecting the uh, goddamn steam controller? Here, what if we do this? Oh, that's probably because the keyboard is off. There we go. What did you think? We're going to have to f jump out at some point, but... Int. Interesting idea. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, though. I think I was a factory, and then an alley, and a subway. Awesome. Everyone gets something different. It's crazy. That's one word for it. What? Some big glitches at the end. Unauthorized something something. Then I got kicked out. Oh, yeah. They updated the crack to fix that. Sending. Check, Check ended. ended. New file seems to crash less. Yay. Okay, we're going to pause real quick so I can get this controller Super working. Super hot. Again. I feel like it's making horrible sounds right it now. It is. Like, All right, well, let's jump back into this. Super hot. Super, Super hot. Super hot. I don't know if it was making that horrible sound before. But I think that's part of the game. I hope it stops, though, once we enter this. Okay, there yep. it goes. Woo! So, remember how I was saying time moves really slowly when we're not actually moving? Uh, this is our chance to see that, hey, we need to uh, learn how to yeah, jump. Yeah, we need to move. And now we got more baddies. Boom! Boom! Wait, grab that gun. shit. Gotcha. Yeah. What's up? All that you missed. That would be pretty That would bad. not be. Ooh, you almost got killed. Eh, killed, schmilled. It's all the same thing, really. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, one thing I wanted to talk about in the yeah. last episode. Check out this car. I mean, check out really all of the scenery, right? Yeah. So check it out. <laughs> see how it has... <laughs> See how it has a very, like, concrete look and yeah. texture to it? That's one of the things about the art that I find even more interesting. Well, um, because I think it adds a level of detail. Well, it does, but it's like, to me, it begs the question, why concrete or plaster Is it even? concrete? I almost like corkboard. I don't know, not corkboard. No, it, it's totally either plaster or concrete. Um... Yeah, elbowed in the face. Where yeah, did that gun, the gun go? Now? Did I break the gun? I died anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Super hot. Super hot. <laughs> hey, Chris, you do a real good job jumping. Wait, wait, wait. I suddenly I'm not... <laughs> suddenly I'm not trying to play this game anymore. Suddenly I don't know how to game. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That only took you eight times. Super hot. Yeah. Nicely done. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, sexy Boom. jams. All right, where are they gonna come from? So yeah, I I really really wonder why they have this like plaster or concrete kind of texture because it's like the humanoids yeah. have that like glass kind of. Whoop, glass kind of material yeah and then yeah everything else has the plaster and it i is it because we're in some like weird simulated environment and that's just like how they chose to render everything that's or is it like something 
deeper than that? I don't know what it could represent, but like, I don't know, it's super weird to me. Is it super hot though? Dude, it's super, super hot. Uh, you, you don't wanna hit one of these guys eventually. Yeah. Okay, did I, I did get him. I was really worried for a second there. Great. That's a bad time to have any ammo. Oh, I think he shot, oh. Punch him, punch him. Oh, oh super huh. hot. I mean, you know that this is like the beginning of the real part of the game because this yeah. is where things start getting actually... What was that? It's a headache. Oh, it must have been oh, because I shot him in the head. Huh? Yeah! Nice. Ooh, satisfying. You don't blow. I did it, guys. I really... It only, it only took me getting hit by a car four times. Dude, what, whatever, whatever. Because this is my United States, uh, whatever. Watch this, watch this. Oh, it disappeared. The watch it first. <laughs> well, you just saved yourself. Yeah, so you can you can actually uh shoot. Hit both the bullets, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw you doing that earlier. Oh, did I actually do I it? like twice, dude. You uh you get an achievement if you do it, but it's actually like it it's more of a pain in the ass because uh Oftentimes you go to shoot someone and just because you're aligned up with them, their bullets will actually save them more than anything. That was ah, beautiful. That was nice. Look at that. Look at that, like, just that head. I know, right? Oh, that guy's going for that gun. Stop Psh it. Watch that. Boom. Super, Super hot. hot. I also find Super it really interesting that you throw the gun Super at the very right. end. Which Super I think that, that alone Super will say, end up saying a lot about the game. Yeah, right. Because imagine, so imagine for example, you were like suddenly mind controlled by someone. Wrong place, wrong time. Ooh, I like this level. This is where we learn that we can just pick up random objects. Anything that's black, really. Um, but imagine though, right, that you just like, you're mind controlled and maybe you weren't even cognizant for it, right? And you just like snapped back into consciousness and found you were surrounded by just a lot of dead people with a gun in your hand. What's the first thing you would do? Yeah, right. You would probably throw the gun yeah, you in throw a gun. panic. You'd, you'd be like, what's happening? So that's what I'm wondering too. My thought on this game is that this is actually real. I that's that's my theory, right? I think I, this I, is I, like I a simulated with that theory. I think that you're like in some like, I feel like there's some like we're in a utopia or something where people have like, you know, chips implanted in their head and somehow you're inside one of those chips and and you're just controlling people. Cuz otherwise I don't know how it works unless you're like you're like a, a defense system. But here's the thing, right? All of these situations, the characters that that appear all seem to have guns. Yeah. So it's not as though they are entirely unprepared. Yeah, that's where I guess. So I think the important thing is is that the first person we're usually presented one person. Um like in this level, for example, we we're looking at that bartender. Yeah. So maybe that bartender was actually a target and he didn't seem to have a gun, right? He did though, no, because you got a gun from him. Oh, that's right, he did. Yeah. But regardless, maybe he was like our target, and now we're just keeping this guy alive long enough for the uh, yeah the controller to resume control. Mm. Interesting, right? Yeah, like an assassin's unit or something like that. Oh, you're it's okay. Of, There's yeah. a gun right here. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Shoot him in the gut! Shoot him in the gut! Boom! Super hot. Not yet. Uh, did I shoot him? Oh, I must have shot his. Gun? Did Super I just die? Oh. Oh. oh, I can. Whoa, Super I can hot. rewind Super and. Hot. Oh, that's that's so cool. cool. Super hot. Super Although I do kind of wish they didn't display super the super hot, hot over the replay. Yeah. To be totally hot. honest, like I know why they're super doing it, and it's because hot. they're reinforcing the like surreal feeling that super the game is trying yeah. to give us. Um, but at the same time, I feel like half of the fun of completing a level is actually to see it play in real time. Yeah, Because yeah. it's super interesting. Is it super hot? It's super hot, oh, dude. Man, I fight. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is fantastic. So we're like, okay, this is going to be interesting. This is where, like, I think this is where they actually force you to learn that you can melee. Um, ooh, I think I'm dead. Oh, no, no. There I go. Does it just take one hit to kill you, huh? Oh, yes. Takes these guys three hits, too. Some bullshit is what that is. I guess you're just not super hot enough. Dude, I'm not super hot enough. 
Oh, you're in trouble. Nah, dude, nah. I actually think you're better off not using a baseball bat because with so much like the gun, right, there is a uh, sort of like a cooldown time yeah. so that the gun can reload the bullet. Um, ah, so there's, like a, there's, there's like a strike and then a stop, kind of like a, like a catching your breath kind of moment. Yeah, exactly. So with the bat, there is a you have to wind back so you can swing True. again. Um, so actually, with the melee combat, you're better off because you have two hands <laughs> just to warm up. And then this is where they're like, throw your enemy at, or you throw your weapon at them. Except now I don't have it. Yeah, totally see, you, don't, you don't have a weapon. That's all right. Watch this. Boom. Oh. Yeah. Look at all these suckers going yeah, for the right. bat. Psha. Although there is one benefit to the bat. What's that? You can hit multiple people? You can kill them instantly with a headshot. Ah, headshot. Boom. Boom. And now I'm going to take your bat. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah, super. super hot. So the one thing that I, I keep trying to do in this game uh -huh. is whenever I'm in an environment that seems like there's some extra, like, space, Yeah. I want to try to... I like this. Unfinished business is how it starts. So that even kind of even further says what yeah, I, I'm saying. Right? We're like, this dude is in uh, a bathroom right now, and we're just going to straight up murder him because he's facing the other direction. Um, but anyway... So there's oftentimes like other areas, right? And it's like I really, really want to explore what else is in the area. Oh yeah. Um, but of course, like you're trying to survive at the same time, and since it only takes one hit to kill you, it makes it really hard to actually accomplish that. So this That's is where they introduce a shotgun. Um, and I knew this was a thing because they announced it in their. Uh, one of their Kickstarter updates because it was a big deal, right? Because up until yeah, that right. point, it's the handgun bullet. was uh, the only, only thing, only actual weapon that the game had. Um, so that was their chance to be like, ooh. Oh, what did it say? Time, gentlemen, please. I feel like that's either. Oh, damn it! That's either a reference to something or. I think that's a reference to something. Be. But yeah. Beat them up. So I like that they put this bottle here. I think they put that bottle here so that you can get this, like, first throw at the guy. You can throw things shockingly far. But after this set of levels, I actually have no idea what comes next. Really? Yeah, well, like, you I... missed oh. that. Oh no, oh no. Can you pick up one of those bottles? Oh, oh, I am in range. You should not use that anymore. You, I'm just gonna, oh, you're gonna hit me. Oh, uh, oh my god, I don't know how I survived Dude. that. Oh man, oh, do it. You dead, son. I swear to god. Oh yeah. Just? Just. Ooh. Oh, it must have been that I just barely got Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, oh no. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Dude, you better hurry up. Oh, no. I want that shotgun. Uh, shotgun hobo. Isn't that a game? Uh, that's a movie, I think. That is a movie? Yeah. Oh, good. I should have been counting my bullets. That's a great... Oh, there's a there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, I like that everything breaks. Yes. Oh, oh. Everything is... Oh. oh, oh. Lame balls. Oh, man. Boom. Oh, that is satisfying, though. Boom, boom, boom. Should we? What time is it? Uh, I forgot to re-hit the timer. <laughs> Camera says 17 minutes. Okay. Yup. Time Master did a bad job keeping track of time, so this episode might have gone a little long. Uh, a little long. Uh, <laughs> whoops. So, question of the day. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Tony. Um, I guess let's ask about the aesthetic. Yeah, actually. yeah. We, we started off the episode strong by talking about it and just kind of like lost track of things after that. Well, because things are just super hot, man. Things are just super hot in this game. Um... But I, I'm curious as to what you guys think about the aesthetic choices, okay. both in terms of game, like what it says about the game, 
but also what it says um, just from an art perspective. Like, do you think that it's successful in making a unique style by merging these two, like, yeah, right. very specific um, textures? I'm just going to do that. And die anyway. Anyway, so yeah, what, what, do, you, <laughs> what do you think about the art of the game? <laughs> uh, oh, and when we pause, it just brings us back here. Oh! Yeah, right? Ooh, I didn't notice this. Secret not cracked. Oh, so we are figuring out something. Ooh. Oh, tantalizing. Tantalizing. <sighs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to vote in yes. this voting thing right now if you want to watch more Super Hot or, uh, and or what you want us to play after we're done with Super Hot. More Super Hot, probably. Probably more Super Hot. More super hot. More super hot. It's super hot. It's super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Super hot. <laughs> Whoops.